Hello everyone, welcome to the Ijimaku.co daily FX market review for the trading day ending Tuesday, October 4th. Firstly to the US dollar index futures and uh, here we see some uh, interesting price action today. Uh, buyers coming into the market off the back of a build of momentum from the previous day's trading. The previous day's uh, body was the largest white body candle that we had seen for the last week or so. We had a lot of indecisive trading for the previous week and uh, for the previous day's trading we saw the Tenkan continue to hold as resistance. Today we've broken out through that Tenkan Sen resistance in a very strong bullish manner and importantly the Tenkan Sen trading at 95.70 has held as uh, support today. Uh, the low of the candle and the open of the candle is uh, around that area holding as very strong support. Uh, the market today taking out the 95.85 level of resistance in a bullish manner suggests a very good possibility of seeing uh, further upside but the resistance coming in at this 96.31.5 level this has been a very important level in the recent past and in the last month or so we've tested uh, just two here on four occasions now and we have seen very strong price rejection from here previously so monitoring this area very very carefully what we'd like to see would be a strong bullish breakout with some follow through uh, we could easily see the US dollar index futures trading to 96.88 even perhaps beyond up to uh, this 97.47 level again in terms of Ichimoku, a bull market now in all three time frames, but still not supported by the chicken span. Uh, the chicken span is just within the corresponding price action. And that could change if we uh, can close above this 96.31.5 level. Now just looking to our bands, and our bands had squeezed, and here we see the uh, bullish breakout. It's moderately bullish. We did have a significant loss of commitment by the uh, buyers, as evidenced by the shadow on the top here. And the buyers have uh, closed with control, but it's... It's only moderate control. They've closed just above the midpoint level. What we'd like to see is some uh, strong follow through and the market taking out uh, this uh, resistance level overhead uh, and uh, roughly around that 96.5 area. And to the hourly charts with the US dollar index features, and here we see very, very solid trading throughout the majority of the trading day. Um, the market trading above each of the Ichimoku indicators on the hourly charts here. Um, the Tengen Sen holding as support a couple of times and then the market has reached to the third pivot point resistance level and then backed off from there. We look at this candle as we tested through there, we failed to close through there, the buyers lost commitment. The buyers failed to continue with the strong control that they had for the majority of this uptrending uh, um, activity and uh, it did lead then to a uh, quite a strong sell off with the market testing uh, down through the Kijun Sen, where the Kijun Sen has held as support, the market are able to close down through there. At the moment, uh, we do have the market trading around the Tenkan Sen indicator, just slightly through there, suggesting uh, we may have seen a change of sentiment in that short-term time frame. Uh, looking to support to come in at the middle of the pivot points around the 96.04 level, and if we do uh, see this market sell off, watching for continued support at and through the Kijun Sen indicator at 95, 97 and a half. If we trade down through there looking to the first pivot point support level at 95.70 to be tested. Uh, importantly, um, for the first part, first uh, three or four hours of the new session, the Ichimoku cloud is quite flat and uh, it's very thin and uh, it is a fair way away from uh, where current price action is and uh, price action is looking a little extreme away from uh, the Ichimoku cloud so uh, we could see an attempt to retrace within that first uh, probably three, four, five hours or so. And as we move further into the trading day the cloud does move higher and it will lessen the urgency for the price action to want to retrace and uh, what we would have would, uh, with the retracement is the uh, buyers and sellers attempting to find some equilibrium market participants finding equilibrium by uh, moving back to the Ichimoku cloud but as the cloud moves higher uh, the urgency for to do that would be reduced as we get closer to the end of the trading session importantly also for today's session that has completed this is something of an extreme uh, trading day and uh, when we trade up through that third pivot point 
support or resistance level, it tends to be an extreme day, and we don't tend to see a strong follow through after unless we do uh, have a shock in the markets. And there's no uh, important news that uh, is expected uh, for any uh, any shock. Um, so we're not likely to see the market testing up uh, through this first pivot point resistance level 96.42. Moving next to the euro US dollar on the daily charts, and here we see uh, continued indecisive activity. Another small body candle here, caught by the overhead resistance at the Kijun Sen at 1.12.24, 1, and also the support down below the Tenkan Sen, 1.12.07, and below the bottom of the Ichimoku Cloud, very close to this 1.11.60 area. Uh, with all of this indecision in the market, we'll be waiting for a breakout in either direction. The market has been moving sideways for some time. Very uninteresting market. Uh, but just waiting for uh, some stronger price activity with some direction in it. And if we look at the bands, and the bands are squeezed, reflecting low volatility situation, and we know that we should uh, start to expect a higher volatility situation. Looking for a breakout in either direction uh, with the the required bullishness or bearishness and some strong follow through and uh, some swing highs or swing lows taken out but at the moment indecision a directionless market in the medium term time frame moving next to dollar yen US dollar Japanese yen and very strong buying in this market today and that's off the back of a build of momentum on that previous white body candle and uh, that was uh, one of the strongest uh, candles that we had had for the past week or so uh, in terms of the buyers the buyers had closed with control they taken out the 10140 previous support and resistance level and taken it out in a bullish manner and also trading in a bullish manner above the tank and send indicator. Today we're seeing very strong follow through. The kitchen send taken out in the market now trading within the Ichimoku cloud. Um, very important trading activity coming up over the uh, probably the next week or so. Uh, the question here is will the market be able to break out through the cloud and if we look back in uh, in time through the uh, past it's been quite some time since we've been trading above the cloud and every time we've rallied into the cl cl cloud for the last year or so we've seen strong rejection coming into the market so very very important trading activity coming up uh, here soon this has been a very solid attempt to trade two higher levels a large white body candle something of an extreme candle we may not see the strong follow through and also if we do see any uh, bullish breakout here remembering that we have a flat part of the cloud and very often we can have false breakouts so we're going to have to have some really strong confirmation if we do end up trading through the top of the cloud but importantly at the moment uh, the market is trading within the cloud we have a neutral market in big picture terms bullish market in the medium and fast term time frames uh, neither of those are supported by the chicken span the chicken span being within the corresponding price action supports the neutral market in that longer term time frame and uh, there is an opportunity here for the market to be uh, transitioning into an uptrending phase, but still uh, we could see um, uh, quite some uh, some more price action play out before we see confirmation of any strong uptrending phase. Now moving next to the uh, to cable British pound US dollar, and here we see good strong follow through from the selling of the previous day's trading. Sellers in control, and uh, they maintain that control here today with another black body candle. Good solid extension to the size of the black body, suggesting the sellers have become even stronger in net terms. And importantly, taking out that 127.99 uh, swing low after the Brexit vote. Uh, this suggests certainly that the sellers are the stronger party in all three time frames. And we have a downtrend in all three time frames, trading below each of the Ichimoku indicators. The chicka span strongly confirming that. Uh, it wouldn't surprise to see the market attempt to bounce. Uh, if we do see that, watching 127.99 to now hold as resistance if we do see a bounce. Next to the lunar US dollar, Canadian dollar, and here we see uh, buying coming in. Buyers have taken control and uh, closed out through the tank and sand indicator in a bullish manner, testing to this important resistance level 132.12. And uh, we have seen very strong rejection from here previously. If we do see a bullish breakout through there and some strong bullish follow through, and we could test to 132.80 and uh, that will be the benchmark moving forward for any stronger uptrending activity. This has also uh, seen price action extending up to there and then strong rejection as well.